Cristina. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel for another video. We have lots to clean up today. As you can see, we've got some decluttering to do in here. We've got some tidying, a few deeper cleaning projects as we approach the spring cleaning season. So if you're needing some motivation today, you have come to the right place. I'm also doing a little giveaway, just something small to give back and say thank you for all of the support over here on my channel. That will either be a $25 Amazon gift card or a $25 Starbucks gift card. It's up to the winner. So be sure to stay tuned so you can hear more information about that. But the first thing that we're doing is clearing off our kitchen island and tidying the kitchen. This past weekend, we had Spring Forward, which is actually my favorite of all of the time changes. Back in the day, I used to hate it because you lose that hour of sleep, but now that I have kids, I find that it works the exact opposite way. In the fall, it feels like I'm losing an hour of sleep because they start waking up so much earlier every single day and it goes on for like weeks until they adjust. But with spring forward, I find it so much easier to adjust them and it really doesn't hit me at all. It doesn't feel like I've lost any sleep. In fact, it might even feel like I've gained some. I also, of course, love that it starts to stay brighter outside later. I definitely deal with a little bit of seasonal depression every single year. So this finally starts to feel like that is lifting around this time and I have so much to look forward to. I just cannot wait for the warm weather. You guys will have to let me know though in the comments below if you prefer the fall back or the spring forward time change. Something I have really been needing to do lately is go through Carson's art cart. You can see here that it is overflowing. There was just way too much stuff in it. Things had been put back, but they weren't put back properly. Things were just kind of getting thrown in there and it just wasn't working out. So we needed to declutter that pretty badly. So I'm taking it apart here. I'm not taking every single thing out, but I am going through every single thing and I'm going to declutter it and then try to put it back together in a way that makes more sense. I am thinking about moving the art cart somewhere else. We've been keeping it in the closet in our kitchen because my son tends to do his art like on our kitchen island. So it just makes sense to have it right there. But I also kind of wish I had that storage for us for things that we need, like my vacuum and my mop and things like that. So I may end up moving the art cart into his room, but we will see. We'll see what I end up doing with that. While we're organizing, I wanted to ask a question here slash just talk about something. So first of all, both myself and my creator friends here on YouTube have noticed a pretty huge shift in the way that short form content is being pushed now. I feel like all platforms are trying to do away with longer videos and only push short videos like reels or TikToks. And at first I was like, well, I guess I need to adapt to the times and maybe my channel will have to shift over to shorts. But as time has gone on, I've decided that I really want to resist that change and continue making my classic long form content as long as I possibly can. I personally enjoy a long video. I like being able to put a video up and do other things while I'm listening in the background, but you can't do that on Reels or TikTok. You just have to keep actively scrolling. It's like this push to keep us on our phones, like glued to our phones all the time. And something about that becoming the norm actually kind of freaks me out a little. And I found that my mental health suffers so much with reels and tiktok they really do take the concept of a highlight reel and just bring it to a new level especially watching that stuff before bed i found it was giving me like major anxiety and i would have a hard time falling asleep my attention span i feel like is shorter than ever 
So I actually deleted TikTok a couple of weeks ago and I have not looked back. I'm all set with that platform, but I would love to hear in the comments how you guys are feeling about this push to watch reels and TikTok. And if you're feeling like me and you want to resist this change, or if you have started watching less YouTube because you enjoy the short videos more, I'm just genuinely curious. So leave me a comment down below. But now that I've gone on my whole spiel about the reels and TikTok and all of that, we are going to sort through some of Carson's recent art projects. He is so into coloring like the logos from the different sports teams at the moment. So as you can see, there's like so many of them and he gets his teacher to print them out for him at school so he can color them and then he brings them home. Sometimes my husband prints them out at work so he can color them at home, but he's just been like crazy coloring all of the logos. He like wants to memorize how they all look and it's just so funny to me. So I had to sort through all those, get rid of the extras, find the ones that weren't colored yet and kind of separate those. But now we are dealing with all of these dishes. I feel like lately I have been making such an effort to stay on top of dishes and doing them multiple times a day to make sure that they never pile up too much. So this was actually quite a bit for me. I let them kind of sit a little bit longer because I knew I was going to be filming a cleaning video, but I just feel like lately running the dishwasher every single night and then unloading it in the morning has made a huge difference in my overall cleaning routine and just staying on top of the dishes. I wanted to clean this, I don't know, sink rack, is that what you call it? I don't know what it's called, but I wanted to clean it. So I ended up filling up my sink with hot water and then throwing in a dishwasher tablet. And I let that soak for a while to just clean it off without having to scrub it. We still have our Valentine's Day decorations up over here. So if you are just as behind as I am, please let me know in the comments below so I know that I'm not alone. I wanted to decorate for St. Patrick's Day, but I couldn't find anything at the stores. I feel like they just jumped right over it and right to Easter. So no St. Patrick's Day decorations this year, but soon I will be changing these out for Easter. It has been a while since I have used my essential oil diffuser, so I wanted to get that going and get this clean sweep smell in my kitchen. This is so, so nice for springtime and for cleaning. I had a little bit of clutter on the countertops that I just wanted to go through here. I've also been giving Sutton a prebiotic and I wanted to take that out of the original packaging and just get that into a container so that it looks a little bit nicer while I'm leaving it out on my counter. You'll notice we have some HelloFresh recipe cards on our counter here. This is not sponsored by HelloFresh. I just love to mention them when we do get them because we love HelloFresh. We've been buying it for years, especially during the pandemic when groceries were kind of hard to come by and it was difficult to get out and go grocery shopping. I loved ordering HelloFresh and just knowing that we had like at least three good meals every single week. So I will leave my referral link in the description box down below. I think it gets you like $150 off of your first like few boxes or something. I don't remember exactly what the deal is. I'll put it on the screen, but we absolutely love HelloFresh. It is a great way to try some new things, get out of like your recipe rut. And then also it gets us to eat more vegetables, which is always good. And they're just really easy meals to make. They feel restaurant quality and they are delivered right to your door. My Shark Wanvac is no longer operational. I had tried to move it over to this corner of the counter to see if I could get it working again, but it's just dead, it just doesn't work. So I am going to have to buy a new hand vacuum at some point, but I am curious if there are any cleaning tools that you guys want me to try and I can review in a video coming up, please leave them in the comments below because I 
really don't try a lot of new things anymore. I typically just use the things that get sent to me that are sponsored, but I want to try some other stuff. I want to buy things on my own and review them for you guys so you know whether or not you should purchase them or give them a chance. So again, if you have any cleaning tools or cleaning products that you want to see me try before you decide if you're going to purchase them or not, then leave me a comment below. Now we're going to clean off my stovetop using the pink stuff. This stuff is the best for cleaning your glass stovetop. It just works so well. And we are also going to clean the inside of the oven, but that's not until later on in this video. I wasn't planning on doing that on this day, but then I just kind of suddenly got the inspiration. So it's a little bit out of order, but we are going to get to that. But if you have made it this far, this is the part where I tell you about the giveaway. So again, it's either a $25 Amazon gift card or a $25 Starbucks gift card. So all you need to do to enter is be subscribed to my channel and then just leave me a comment down below. I would love to know when did you guys find my channel? How long have you been watching my videos? Are you brand new? Have you been here since the beginning? Please let me know and that is how you enter the giveaway. I will be announcing the giveaway winner on the community tab and also with a pinned comment in this video next week, so a week after this video goes live. But once again, this is just a very small way for me to say thank you for all of the support over here on my channel. I really appreciate you guys. I would not be able to be home with my kids if it weren't for all of you and that is just priceless to me. My refrigerator was covered in little fingerprints, like absolutely covered between the five-year-old just touching things all the time. And then also Sutton, he, he's one, he's 14 months old. He is in the climbing phase or entering the climbing phase at the moment. So he climbs the stove, he climbs the refrigerator, tries to climb the dishwasher. It's no fun, but yeah, just had to clean this off from all those little fingerprints. If you guys watch my channel regularly, then you know this actually is not that bad for our dining room table. Typically, it's covered in way more stuff than this. Lately, I've been finding, I think it's just because it's cold here still, we're covering this table in jackets all the time, even though we have a coat closet. I, it's so frustrating. I don't know why we do this. So sometimes it looks like our dining room table is just a coat closet, but hopefully as the weather starts to warm up, that improves. Moving on to the living room, I needed to just tidy up all of the toys and tidy up the couch, fix things up a little bit. I really wanted to vacuum the floors, so I was trying to go around and pick up everything so that it would be ready for me to vacuum when that time came. Yeah, 
this is a super real life moment here. My husband came home and he had a conference call for work. So I had about four minutes to vacuum the floors after I had just picked up in preparation to vacuum the floors. So I was only able to vacuum a little bit because he needed to have quiet so he could get on his conference call, which is totally fine, but I just thought it was funny that it worked out this way. So you can see me here like speed vacuuming as fast as I possibly could to try and get as much ground covered before I had to shut it off. Now we're going to do a little bit of steam mopping. I'm actually in the market for a new steam mop. I like this one, it's good, but I just, again, I'm really wanting to try some new things. I don't have any sponsors coming up at the moment. So I feel like it's a good time for me to try some new things and review them for you guys. So again, looking for a new steam mop, if you guys have any recommendations. I had a shark in the past and I loved it, but I'm thinking about trying a Bissell this time. Now we're going to clean the oven. You can see it has been so neglected. This is just one of those things that I kind of dread doing for no reason. It's really not that hard, but I just dread it. So I'm taking out all of the oven racks and I'm gonna spray some easy off in there. This isn't my favorite thing to use because of like the fumes, but you know what? It works the best and I don't do it very often. So if I use this like once or twice a year, in here versus using like a more natural method the other times i feel like that's okay so i'm just gonna spray all this easy off in there really coat the inside of the oven and then i set a timer for an hour and 15 minutes so i could let it soak at first when i took out the oven racks i thought that i would just quickly wipe them down in the sink i had a couple of dishes that were added since the last time I did them so I'm taking care of those first but I thought that I would just spray some Dawn power wash on the oven racks and I would wipe them using my scrub daddy sponge but it wasn't really doing much so I ended up doing what I did earlier when I was trying to clean that sink rack and I filled up my sink with hot water and threw in a dishwasher tablet and I let that soak as long as I was letting the oven soak with the easy off so I just waited for that timer to go off before I did anything but you guys will see that made a huge difference on these oven racks at first they were not coming clean at all but after I let them soak with that dishwasher tablet it just came right off I was so impressed and they ended up looking pretty much brand new And this is just me showing you guys how easily everything on these oven racks was wiping off after letting it soak. I barely had to scrub and it was just coming right off. So I was so, so happy that this worked out. Real life mom moment happened on this day. So I was planning on doing like a really long spring cleaning video. I wanted to clean our window tracks and clean our windows. And I wanted to do some other deeper cleaning projects like pull out the oven and clean underneath that, pull out the fridge, but it just didn't happen because my son actually ended up coming home sick from school on this day. I got that dreaded phone call that he was throwing up in class. So we had to go and pick him up and I did not get done nearly as much as I wanted to, but I still wanted to post this video for you guys so you could have some cleaning motivation. But on that note, I am planning on posting a super long spring cleaning video. So if you guys have any projects in particular that you want me to tackle for that spring cleaning video, then be sure to leave me a comment. 
Cause if you want somebody else, who am I to judge? I've been thinking about you all the time, but that's alright I'm starting to get used to it, I think I'll survive I met you in the summer, when you left it was cold Said we loved one another Although I do not love using the Easy Off again because of like the fumes and the chemicals, it does do such a great job and my oven turned out so clean. So I'm just wiping that out with a hot, wet rag and I'll show you guys the after in a minute. But this is going to be the end of this week's video. Again, I had so much more planned, but it just didn't work out that way. And that's just the way it is sometimes when you're a mom and being a mom always comes first, of course, for me over YouTube. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it gave you a little bit of cleaning motivation. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new. And also do not forget to enter that giveaway. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I hope that you will come back again next week for another video. I've been